Hey guys, Kevin with GoForLux. Today we are reviewing the ECD Carbon 2.0. So this is the second series in carbon composite shafts that I'll be doing. And I'll be doing this through uh, probably mid-January. I'm going to take some time to use each shaft I review and uh, give my honest feedback of that. As always, I'm most likely going to be using the ECD uh, rebel head on that keep them all taped the same way to make sure my analysis is consistent throughout so last week I reviewed probably the heaviest head of them or shaft of them all in the wolf athletic element UT this week we're redoing maybe one of the lightest we'll see uh, so in this one Carbon 2.0. We're going to compare it to the original Carbon, not the CF5 or the Carbon Pro. We're going to go Carbon for Carbon. One, a lot lighter. Carbon uh, original is about 176 grams. This is 154. So, sounds like a small amount, but that's actually a large amount of weight to reduce and strengthen. They strengthened the middle third of the shaft so you can take and give um, a little more of a beating they changed the face shape or the handle shape if you will the original sha shaft was more of a or traditional octagonal um, shape where this one i hesitate to say it's more like the wonder boy because i don't like the wonder boy but it's got those little insets in there um and after playing for a few minutes, I didn't notice it and I actually liked it. Always when you're trying on new gloves, a head, a shaft, if you're noticing something, that's usually a bad sign. If something's working and something's good, you usually don't notice it. Um, so, new uh, shaft shape, strengthened it, lightened it. Um, the paint that they uh, applied to it is supposed to be more resistant to chipping and peeling which in all carbon fiber shafts eventually over time that's going to happen but as you can see i either took a beating in our last game or i gave a beating i probably took a beating um but it's handled really well there's no spider cracks there's no cracks in it uh, a lot of times in a carbon fiber shaft, you'll see that it will get at first like some spider cracks, look like little spider webs, that when you do this, you can actually hear the carbon fibers separating. Like I said, it took a beating, nothing on that. Um, so, good to go on that. Price point. These come in at about 100 bucks. So, to put it in comparison, that's about the cost of the true comp 4.0 but a lot less than the wolf athletic um, element ut which comes in about 140 150. so even though this is on the lower tier spectrum of price and the wolf athletics up here that does not mean that this is an elementary or entry level shaft it's nice to see a shaft get priced at a good reasonable rate a lot of times I think companies don't want to price their shafts too low or too high or their products because people look down on it that it's inferior. But at 100 bucks, it's a great value. You know, in comparison, the, in the 120 range, you have probably your true 4.5 comps, your uh, dragonflies, things of that nature, your Under Armour sham composite shafts, as well as your STX, the 2D. I, ordered one but I don't recall what I paid for it right now and then moving on up you have the Wolf Athletic you have the um, Warrior Burn Pro which will be part of these and move, moving in the future and then even the hybrid ones like the Rift so they all range uh, my first recommendation is before you go out and just buy one try it don't just look at it in the video and say like hey that looks good Go out and try it. I really like this. It's uh, 
I don't know if I mentioned the flex, the flex is five. So what I would recommend it for all offensive players. So basically coming over the midfield line, whether you shoot, you pass, you dodge to set up shots or passes, um, it's a great stick. Where I had to find something to nitpick on. I, if I was a defensive midi, a strict defensive midi, I don't know if this would be perfect for me. Um, it's light, it's got some flex, but if I really wanted to wallop or cross check somebody, I'd want something with a little more heft. Um, you know, and that's a defensive midi. I would more recommend your metal base shafts because they're going to hurt. Um, but that's the small nitpick thing I can find on this. Um, like I said, it's really light. So, if you have any questions, fire away. I'll put up uh, the next few days over Instagram uh, the next two shafts for you guys to pick which one you want to uh, have me review first. Thank you.